you start trying for a baby, actually very hopeful. Despite all my misgivings, I was trying to be optimistic. Month one, month two, month three, month four, starting to not feel great. Can remember where all those periods came. And at this point, you don't know that you have endometriosis. Don't know any problems. Um, and you know, they, I always say a period when you're trying for a baby is like an email you really don't want to get in your pants. Yeah. So, you know, I remember where all of them were very painful, real signifier of, of failure in, in mm-hmm. many ways. And I know you're not meant to view it like that, but that's how I felt. Uh, month five, I think we get to month six and I say to my husband, something's not right. And the periods were getting worse. So right. this, this natural period that had been hidden for a good decade was rearing its ugly head. And so fast forward a bit, I went on a holiday uh, to to Norway, Sweden. My mother-in-law's from Sweden. We were there with them for part of it. And I remember collapsing on a bench, just next to a bench, actually, in the park. I tried to sort of eat my way through the pain, cinnamon buns and coffee. And, um, and I don't normally drink coffee. I was doing anything I could, sugary coffee. And I just collapsed. And I said to my husband... I can't do it anymore. I feel like my body is dragging itself along the floor and I do not know what is wrong with me. And my friend happened to be at lunch with me a week or so later, I was still in pain. And she happens to be a gynecologist, an obstetrician, a very good one. And she said to me, Emma, sit up. I said, I can't sit up. It's it's my period. She went, what do you mean you can't sit up? I mean, I I didn't look quite like a Roman emperor, but you know, I was sort of leaning to one side and she said, you got to sit up. I said, I can't sit up and I cannot walk at your pace at the moment. And so I became at 31 or whatever, this hobbling old lady every time I had my period and for the 10 days up to it. And she said, I think you've got endometriosis. And she was the first person to say the word. I didn't know how to spell it. I didn't know what it meant to my huge shame. I'd been a women's editor at a national newspaper. I'd heard of it a little, didn't know anything about it. I go home, I go online and it is like a light has gone on because I fit so many of the symptoms. And they're quite hard symptoms to describe. There's been lots of studies to say, uh, it's very hard to describe pain. Mm. And women, women often don't even go to the doctors when it's to do with gynecological pain, because we sort of just think women and pain go together like bread and butter. And that is something I really want to get rid of as a, as a concept for us. Anyway, I book in to see a specialist and the rest is history but what I would stress in terms of diagnosis and and my friend being right what I would stress just in case anybody worries that they've got endometriosis which just to say is where cells um, of your womb that appear like your womb lining should leave your body but don't and then stick and create adhesions and scarring all over other organs and create huge amounts of pain and, and issues with fertility and other issues is you can only be diagnosed by laparoscopy which is a keyhole bit of keyhole surgery I often think it's um it's very difficult and I meet women and lots of women come talk to me now, which I, which I really like and please do continue to do so, not just with endo, with all sorts of issues, but if they come up to me about endometriosis, oh yeah, I think I've got it. You only know if you have this procedure and I just yeah. really want to stress that because it's a big distinction. And sadly, because there's been such a lack of research into a condition that affects one in 10 women at least, the same number as type two diabetes, such a paltry amount of funding has gone towards it. Sadly, we don't have a finger prick test for it or anything like that. Sadly, it has to be incredibly invasive, but that is my public health side of messaging. I just always think is really important. And that's how I got diagnosed. 